Hey guys, welcome back to the Kenny B YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm just going to run you through the details of the new project that I'm kicking off for the new year. New project is a big uh, dual axle full aluminium toy hauler build. So previously, the first camper trailer I had, probably three years ago I think it was now, was a brand new Black Series Patron. Um, I kind of at the time thought bigger was better. So I went for the Patron, which is the forward fold that also has a section that slides out the back so you've got two double beds thought that was going to be good used it uh, maybe a dozen times and then realized that all the effort to slide the back out plus fold it all up and everything like that was just way too much effort and didn't really like it so um i had a mate that had a jackson forward fold which is made by mdc near identical trailer worth the same money pretty much um but doesn't have the bit that slides out the back so he was going to sell his so i said well i'll sell mine you give me yours and i'll give him the money because they're worth it the same price and bought them at the same time so i went from that to the the jackson forward fold which i thought was going to be much more simple i used it probably about half a dozen times and finally at the end of last year we went away for the weekend and just the trailer itself is great. It'll go anywhere, independent suspension, big wheels, fairly heavy, but really solid. Everything around it's fine, the fridge, the pantry, the kitchen's all great, but I've never ever use the annex. Um, I used to always use a pop-up gazebo tent. And towards the end, I tried to use the annex. I got one of the Rawcon pole kits that makes the poles easier. And I use the annex a little bit more. Um, never use the annex room ever. Just way too much setup. Um, and inside it was all right. You got the double bed at one end, um, and you got the infill at the other end for the kids. I've got two boys, and they're getting old enough that they want to sleep bedside and swag anyway. So all that inside area was pretty much pointless. And we pretty much found that it's an awful lot of setup just for somewhere to sleep and I guess it's making it not very enjoyable to go camping. So, sold that one. Um, and now all that money's gonna to go towards the toy hauler build because the biggest issue I have as well is the, uh, the buggy that I built, which was a quad before that, before I chopped enough, turned into a buggy. Every time we go somewhere, if I'm gonna take the buggy, I've gotta take two cars um, because obviously I can't. I've, I've tried to get the quad on top of the camper, it's pretty sketchy. So I don't do that, and now it's a buggy, I definitely can't. So, for those of you that haven't seen the side-by-side -side build, this is the thumbnail here. If you jump back in the playlist, you'll see that series there. I've still got some bits to go on and finish it. This is this is still just the maiden voyage when it was all just under coat. Still got a few mods to do and some tweaks in the steering, so I'll be doing that in the middle of the toy order build while I do this. Um, but yeah, if you're keen to watch that, go check that out. It was a Honda quad bike that I chopped in half and stretched and then turned into a side-by-side. -side. Eventually I'd buy a proper side-by-side, -side, but I was pretty keen to do this and thought it would be good for a laugh, and it actually works, so winner. So I hunt around online for plans for the toy hauler because I didn't really want to wing it all and make lots of mistakes. Couldn't really find anything exact that I wanted. They're all too heavy, so um, the closest thing I found that I needed was these guys here, trailerplans.com.au, uh, Australian company. They do a three and a half ton. They do lots of things. They do box trailers, car trailers. They do all sorts of trailers. The closest one I could find that I wanted was a 4.8 meter flat top trailer. 4.8 meters is the length of the, the bed. I think overall it's uh, 6.4, yep, just over 6.4, um, 2.4 metres wide and max uh, aggregated trail mass of 3.5 tonne, um, load capacity up to 2.5, which is, which is way more than I need. Um, I'm limited by the tow vehicle at the moment. I wouldn't mind 3.5 tonne, but I just honestly think it's way too heavy to tow. Um, I don't need that much gear. Um, and the 120 series Prado I've got that you've probably seen in the other videos with the suspension install and a few other bits. Um, I think it only tows like 2750 or 
2500 so 2500 is fine for me um, a full buggy like a Polaris Range is only 600 kilos so um, plenty, plenty around there to take a full size buggy um, yeah, so yeah for 50 bucks picked up that plan and then it's all built in mild steel I did email the guys from Trailer Plans and asked did they have an aluminium build and at the moment they don't so um, I'm just going to tweak this design to suit building it all out of aluminium for your fifty dollars, the plans are really comprehensive. It has pretty much step-by-step -step instructions on how to build the trailer. Um, it's got all your stuff about calculating um, ball weight, um, making sure your your axles square to the center point of your tow hitch. It's got all your Australian standards, um, rego things, lights, wiring, everything vin plates um, pretty much everything you think of and the drawings are great so all this was out of mild steel it does come with a full cut list as well as a full excel spreadsheet of if you want to make this one out of mild steel you just buy the gear use the shopping list get it all cut to the exact specs on the sheet and away you go but because i'm doing it out of aluminium i've had to modify all the sizes so um like where it says 50 by 50 um, RHS for 3mm thick for the deck um, I'll change that to a 75 by 50 3mm where the floor plate is like a 2400 by 1200 sheet of 2mm I've gone I think 3 or 4mm um, their chassis rails I think were 150 by 50 and I've gone a structural aluminium which is a t6 instead of a t5 and it's a 152 by 76 by 6 mil um, so all, pretty much i've just beef, beefed up every size to suit for the fact that it's an aluminium for me um, huge weight saving so alone i calculated the mass of the design in mild steel and it was about 780 kilos just for the the chassis drawbar, the deck frame, and the floor sheet it was about 760 or 780. To do all that in alloy was about 380. So it's almost half the weight. So pretty much I'm taking this design, tweaking it to suit what I need, but I'm only gonna go for a two and a half ton ATM, not a three and a half ton. So it should work perfectly fine. Uh, at the moment, I don't really know how to TIG weld. Never done it before. I can MIG weld, kind of. Um, wouldn't say I'm a baller maker, but I get by. Some of the welds on the buggy are pretty dodgy, but that's just because I'm usually dodgy. But yep, learned to TIG weld. Um, probably seen if you follow over on the Facebook page or Instagram, probably seen that I bought a fairly decent um, ACDC high frequency TIG welder. It's about 1800 bucks. Um, so learn to take what aluminium there. Start with the deck frame where it's where it's not so structural and it's smaller. Practice on my welds there as I get better and then move into the chassis and, and go from there. So budget wise, uh, from from the sale of the Jackson Ford Fold, I got about about 14 grand there. Um, already just for that aluminium to start off with is about three and a half thousand, so it's probably about twice the price of uh, mild steel the chassis beams alone because they're a t6 they're like 488 dollars a length i think it was for a six meter length i needed three of them so that's that's fifteen hundred dollars just in just in chassis so um that's the price you gotta pay i guess if you, if you want the lightweight and obviously it's going to cost more money um the end product i'm looking for is pretty much going to be like one of these ones here that i've got off the aussie toy haulers page so Deck length overall is 4.8, which will be a 1.8 meter canopy at the front. By, I'm also making the design small, I don't want it to be hanging out the sides of the car. So instead of 2.4 meters wide, I'm just going 2 meters, which also brings the wheel track in to be the same as the car. I don't really want to be pushing two different wheel tracks if I'm in sand or mud or something like that, so it's better off just to make it the same, same with as a car. But yeah, canopy at the front, all your electrics, fridge, kitchen, everything in there like you would normally see 
just going to go for the rooftop tent. Um, quick setup. It's what I'm looking for. Like I just explained with the dramas with the forward fold camper. It's the biggest issue. And then at the back, got um, three meters left there to fit a fit a side by side on. That's heaps of the little one I got at the moment, but it also future proofs it that it can take a full size side by side on the back. Suspension wise, um, I've oversized that over the plan as well, making it so it can take a 16 or a 17 inch wheel. I'm gonna try and get a 17 inch probably steely on there so I can um, have the same wheels as the Prado on the camper. Try and get a 33 on there. Um, solid axle, electric drum brakes, and um, tandem roller rocker leaf springs, which um, I've got from Swift Go Trailers. Um, so we're just under two grand there for the full kit with um, hitch, handbrake cables, brackets, um, brakes, all that sort of stuff. Still need to go get rims and tyres. So yeah, that's the basics of the project coming up. I've got at least six months. So planning on doing uh, Cape York, was meant to do it last year in 2020, but obviously that all got canned. Um, aiming this year for maybe maybe September school holidays. Um, so I'll do it for a fair while, but I'll we'll have to get a hustle on so I can get it finished and then get some shakedown trips in. So um, for the other guys that follow along for the other stuff, for the, the pew pews and all that other stuff that I do, don't worry, still doing that as well. Um, I'll be doing those videos in the middle of, of these ones. But yeah, if you like that stuff as well, go check that out. If you're keen to follow this, obviously subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. It really does help out the channel. I think I'm a little bit over 200 now, so slow and steady. Uh, if you want to follow along for sneak peeks, there's uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook. I'll try to post on there, especially this year. I'm trying to do a little bit more, more and more, be a bit more consistent, so yeah first video will be laying out some of the gear we got and starting to piece the deck together so see you then thanks for watching